Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com. In Engineering Economics, let us discuss about Elementary Economic Analysis. Whether it is a business situation or your day-to-day -day life, some event in somebody's personal life, there are a large number of economic decisions we have to make and we have to decide whether it is correct or not. One can manage many of these decision problems by using simple economic analysis. For example, an industry can source its raw material from a nearby place or from a far off place. In this problem, the following factors will affect the decision. For example, price of the raw material, transportation cost of the raw material, availability of a raw material, quality of the raw material. We have to consider these situations. Consider the alternatives of sourcing raw materials from nearby place with the following characteristics. The raw materials available nearby, we have to consider the following situations. The raw material is more costly in the nearby area. The availability of raw material is not sufficient enough to support the operation of the industry throughout the year. The raw material requires pre-processing before it is used in the production process. This would certainly add cost of the product. The cost of transport is, is minimal under this alternative. On the other hand, consider another alternative of sourcing the raw material from far off place. Which of the following characteristics? The raw material is less costly and the far off place. Even the raw material is less cost, but it is available in far places. The cost of transportation is very high because it's far away. The availability of the raw material at this site is abundant. It's more and it can support the plant throughout the year. The raw material from this site does not require any pre-processing before using it for production. Consider these two situations that is uh, raw material available nearby or raw material av available far away. We have to decide all in these factors and decide which is better. Under this such a situation, the procurement of the raw material should be decided in such a way that the overall cost is minimized. of the film. The consumers and producers are the two sides of the markets. Important two sides of the market is producers and consumers. We will discuss both consumers as well as producers side of the market in this. The film is the basic unit of activity on the production side of the market. The task of the film is to take inputs and turns them into goods or commodities. In this neoclassical model, the objective of the film is to maximize the profits. That is, the film chooses the production plan from all feasible plants that maximizes the profit earned. Because of this is in the consumer model, prices are exogenous on in the neoclassical production model. Films are unable to affect the prices of either their inputs or their outputs. Following factors are important here. Price of the raw material, transportation cost of the raw material, availability of the raw materials, quality of the raw materials. Consider the alternative of the source of sourcing raw materials from nearby place with the following characteristics. The raw material is more costly and the near areas this discussed before. Now, the concept of simple economic analysis is illustrated using some suitable examples we'll do in this video. Uh, that following areas, the material selection for the product, design selection of the product, design selection for a process industry, building material selection for construction activities, process planning, process modifications. Now, 
some examples for simple economic analysis. The cost of product can be reduced greatly by situation substitution of the raw materials. The substitution of the raw materials greatly reduces uh, cost of product. Among various elements of cost, raw material cost is most significant and it forms a major portion of the total cost of any product. So, any attempt to find a suitable raw material will bring a reduction in the total cost in any one of the combination of the following ways. We have to select uh, cheaper raw material prices, reduced that price must be cheaper, not to have material. Material should not be cheaper. Material should consider correct uh, significance. A reduced machining process per process time and enhanced durability of the product. Therefore, the process of raw material selection or substitutions will result in finding the alternate raw materials which will provide the necessary function that are provided by the raw material that is presently used. In this process, if the new raw material provides any additional benefits, then it should be treated as its welcoming feature. Now further, example for simple economic analysis, that is uh, material selection for a product, design selection for a product, design selection for a process industry, building material selection for construction activities, process planning, process modification, we have to consider those uh, points. Now, we will consider one good example for uh, selection of uh, the product selection as well as the cost which is cheaper we have to select by using this uh, good example problem. Look at this example. In the design of the jet engine part, the designer has a choice of specifying either aluminium alloy casting or steel casting. Two choices are there, aluminium alloy casting or steel casting. Either material will provide an equal service but uh, that uh, Service is equal for both materials, but the cost wise, some difference is there. But the aluminium casting will weight 1.2 kg as compared with 1.35 kg for the steel casting. The aluminium can be cast for rupees 80 per kg and the steel one for 35 per kg. The cost of machining per unit is 150, rupees 150 for aluminium and 170 for steel. Every kilogram of excess weight is associated with a penalty of 1300 due to increased fuel consumption. Which material should be specified and what is the economic advantage of the selection per unit? Here, this for answering these questions, we have to make a table like and it is easier way to understand this problem. Now, first, Cost of using aluminium metal for the jet engine. This is aluminium side, this is a steel. Cost per unit in 1.2 kg. 1.2 for steel. Uh, for steel is 1.35 kg. And the given thing is uh, cost of machine, uh, cost of making aluminium casting. Cost of making aluminium casting is rupees 80. 80 per kg or steel 35 kg. Rupees. 35 kg. These are given in particular CR. The cost of machining per unit. Cost of machining per unit is 150. Per unit. Here, 150 per unit rupees. 
or uh, cost of measuring stick cash per unit is 170 rupees 170 per unit next total cost of total cost of engine part made by aluminium equal to here penalty penalty we have to consider later then total cost of here total cost is total cost of the jet engine part made by aluminium unit is cost of making aluminium cast cost of making aluminium is 80 80 into 1.2 plus rupees per kg 1.2 kg rupees 80 then plus 150 rupees 150 for cost of machining per unit so we have to get it this the call total is rupees 246 or steel side cost of cost of machining steel testing per unit is equal to the total cost you have to do here total cost is cost of making steel casting is here 35 into 1.35 35 into 1.35 plus Plus 170, then penalty of excess weight of the steel casting is 1300, then is 1.35 is what 1.35 for steel minus excess weight is. Aluminium weight is 1.2, which is equal. Simplifying this here, this excess is for uh, excess is for penalty for uh, for steel casting because excess is here 1.35 minus 1.2, so it gives 412 4.12 point. Here there is no penalty here. Here the penalty is that is one thousand three hundred into one point three five minus one point two. The answers comes here addition. Now we will decide this now. Decision you can do. This economic decision. The total cost per unit of the jet engine part made of aluminium is less. Total cost for aluminium parts aluminium part is less. Uh, Aluminium part is lesser than steel part. Here, aluminium part is 246. Here, steel part is 412.25. That excess is 412.25 minus 246 which is equal 166.25 therefore we can decide that is we can decide test for aluminium parts for less economic and more profit we have to select aluminium part which is excess of 166.25 rupees per kg uh, processing machining and cost everything we can get it this much.
that means if it is the more number of jet, in, jet engines made by uh, aluminium casting will provide more profit. So far we have done some example problem for good decision and uh, we'll discuss detailly about uh, economic elementary economic analysis by using about the film and cost wise and raw material selections like we have done please subscribe our youtube channel